So right now, this TV screen is looking at the backside alignment. If we change it to top, then it's this one. But we'll do a backside alignment first. So backside alignment, the microscope cameras are on the bottom. And they're gonna be trying to take a picture of the mask. You can see the microscope in here, the, the two lenses. So with those cameras, we're gonna try to visualize the mask. So those cameras, we're gonna try to take a picture of the top. So we can move each lens. So if you hit left and you hit fast, you can move that around. And you can see the mark here on the screen. And you can do the same thing with the right side. You can move it around. Sometimes you need to adjust the color, uh, the brightness because this might be too bright or this might be too bright. So you adjust it like this. So we found some uh, alignment marks. So I try to... So we can focus on this. So you use these... Uh, focusing knobs here. You can adjust the focus. So the two things you can adjust are the focus or the power of the density. So once you find your alignment marks, the plan is to take a picture of this. So you hit grab image. Now it's taking a picture. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to put the wafer inside and then try to align the back of the wafer to this picture. So, you're going to hit the load button because it's flashing. And it says, pull slide and load substrate onto chuck. So you pull the slide and you load the substrate onto the chuck. So you load it and you try to, there's a pins there, you try not to touch the rubber seal. Then you can blow the wind, uh, the air on it to clean it a little bit. So once it's in, you just press the enter button and it's going to bring it up. So this is the Im original image. So you can see the stuff in the back, right? That's the wafer. So it has a camera on the back, it's looking at the wafer, and you want to align it. So th there is the, this is the X, Y, I mean X position moving, and this is the Y position you're moving, and this is the tilt. So you use those three to align your wafer. And then once you've aligned it, and it's ready to go, you, can, you hit uh, alignment check first, to make sure nothing uh, hits. So that's gonna bring it touching. And then you hit exposure. And then when we hit that, we'll uh, turn around because it's during the UV light. So it, yeah. <laughs> so we should turn around because the UV light is, uh, is bad for your eye. So I set it for 20 seconds. So wait about 20 seconds for it to finish. So you can kind of hear it. Then you know it's done. A lot of the machine is, uh, it kind of directs you on which way to go. So it tells you on the screen what to do next. So it says pull slide and, un and unload expose substrate. So that means uh, you're ready to take it out. Right now it's in vacuum, so you press enter and it'll be loose. And then that's how we did the backside alignment. Now, if the, if the same procedure, we'll do the top side alignment. So with top side alignment, it's the same thing. You would load your mask in, but you want this to come down. 
So the trick with this is you have to press uh, this button off. You gotta make sure this button goes off. So now this is off, now, then you can load your wafer. So you do the same thing we did earlier. You put your wafer in. And then you would just hit enter. So now the difference with this is, this uh, microscope will come down. But see how there's no uh, screen here? It's blank because the light is on the back side. So we turn the light to the top side. And now you can see this, now it's getting the image from the microscope. So the, the microscope can be adjusted in many ways. The first thing you can do is move the position of the microscope this way. So that is done by these things here. So we, we turn this and it controls this one. And the same thing on this side, we can change the position of these two. So we can, we can bring them closer together, or we can bring them further apart. So that's one thing you can do, but you can also manually move the up and down in X and Y position. And that's the same way with the arrows. So you would just, you can just move it, and you can see it move. So it's the same goal, we want to find the alignment marks. So you kind of visually look and see where they are, and I see one here. So we found one here, like earlier, right? Then we'll find the right side now. So right now we want to move this out. So we'll bring this out this way. You see something here, right? Let's see how they're off. So you tilt it with this thing up here. And you can bring them in the same plane. And then you can adjust this. So And then the So this is the focus for it. This is the rough focus. So how you you can adjust the focus on the screen with this thing here. You try to get it as sharp as possible. Don't turn it too much. If you turn it too much and you feel it getting loose, then that means your the photo resist on your wafer is too much. Or even sometimes your mask is upside down. And then the, you, you have to go through the glass layer. So that's why your focus, you've been turning it too much. So it shouldn't be, you shouldn't have to turn this that much. And if it comes loose, it's very, it's dangerous because this might fall down. So don't turn this too much. So that's the rough focus. We also have the fine focus here, where we, we can adjust a little bit better. Unlike the backside alignment, you don't have to take a picture because it's, you know, the light is going through both the mask and the wafer at the same time. So you're ready to align. So you align the same way. You can adjust, you can just move X and Y until you find your alignment marks. And once you find your alignment marks, you do the same thing. You press alignment and exposure. But before that, I always, uh, if this is my last one and I know I'm done, I hit the backside alignment. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it comes back, doesn't, this thing doesn't come back down. But I'll leave it on, just say we leave it on by mistake. So we do the same thing again. I'm gonna change the exposure time this time. So we can hit edit parameter. And we can change the exposure time. Let's just make it one second. We hit edit parameter. So we're ready to expose. So you do alignment check. And then you make sure nothing moved on the wafer. So now it's in contact and you're ready to expose. So it's the same thing, always turn around when you're ready to expose. You should also warn other people in the room because they might be doing some work. So you don't want the light to interfere with the pattern. So you just, it's out of cur courtesy, you just be like, oh, I'm exposing now. So that was a quick exposure. <laughs> Once the exposure is done, it's gonna tell you to remove your wafer
pull it out, and then you press enter to remove the vacuum. And then you just close it 